We say modim anach nulach. For all these gifts and blessings, we sing your praises and we say amen. Amen. And I don't know if uh, you knew, you know, I feel like there's a holiday every week. And I don't know if you knew that there's a holiday this week. I'm sure actually many of you participated in what has become for some the ultimate holiday, Prime Day. Prime Day was this week, or two days, I guess, Prime Days. Unbelievable savings and, you know, buy, buy, buy. It's capitalism and materialism at its finest. And as we read in our Torah portion this week, Matot Masay, the tribes of Reuben and Gad would have loved Prime Day. They would have loved Prime Day. Let me explain. So the Israelites are at the edge of the promised land. They're at the east bank of the river, ready to cross over into what's now Israel. And they're ready to go over there and fight the battles. They're ready to win the land, what they've been trying to achieve. And yet, as they're getting ready, two, the leaders of two tribes, Reuben and Gad, approach Moses. They explain that the land they're on currently, on the east side of the river, is actually perfect for their cattle, perfect for sheep herding or shepherding, and they want to remain on that side. Now Moses, of course, responds as he often does, and he gets angry at them. He says, will your brothers go to war while you stay here? And they respond, Gid rotzon nivne lemiknenu po ve'arim letapenu. We will build here sheepfolds for our flocks and towns for our children. But we, they continue, will stay. We'll serve as soldiers. We'll go with you and we'll, we'll fight with you until everyone settles in their land. In other words, they say, we're going to set up sanctuary for our flocks and for our children, and then we'll go fight. And Moses accepts this offer. And it's a nice idea in theory, right, that... We want this land, but we're going to help you fight. We're not going to be selfish. But the challenge, as the Midrash points out, is their wording, specifically the order of their wording, because they say, first, we will build sheepfolds for our flocks, and then they say, and towns for our children. The flocks first, not their own family. So Bamidbar Rabbah elaborates, because they put their flocks before their children, God declared that they will find no blessing in their wealth. They binged on Prime Day, but their, jo their purchases, their wealth, would not bring them any joy or contentment. And I just think about how often this might be true for us as well. We celebrate Prime Day, we get hooked by that ad, we succumb to a sale, I just bought a ton of new pocket squares on Amazon, I'll admit it. And because we think that this stuff matters, but we know the truth. We know that it's how we use these things. This one, this is actually one of them. But we know that it's not the pocket square, it's not the stuff that matters, it's how we use it. It's how we use it with whom, for what purpose. Is it just to show off or is it to build relationships? Is it to further a cause? Is it to build our self-esteem. The true blessings lie not in material, but in love, in family, in friendships, in making a difference in our world. It's not to knock Prime Day, but to make sure that we're embracing the things that matters. Because this is where Reuben and Gad fail to find blessing, and it's where we can succeed. So in this era of instant gratification, of Prime Day faux holidays, which we all or many of us participate in, may we remember the truth about stuff and embrace the joy and meaning of what matters. Amen. Amen. We take a moment to reflect on these words.